Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and um, we got a pretty solid looking leak for the Joker movie coming out in October, and I was originally pretty critical of this, um, this uh, trailer we got a while back, and I didn't like the way it looked. I thought it kind of looked more Joker in name only or Elseworld type, but this has actually kind of piqued my interest. I like these leaks, so if you don't want to hear them, I am going to go over them. If you don't want it, click out of it now. There is your warning. There will be obvious spoilers. Whether or not they are true, I cannot guarantee, but they seem pretty legit. Um, this will take place in 1981, which um, kind of everyone suspected it was going to be like a blast from the past type thing, but now we have a year um, we are going to see him um, in the past and it makes sense for the age it makes sense for everything it is said that joker takes place in gotham city in 81 in the iconic dc comics location in its lowest point in the crime wave in the garbage strike leaving it dirty and more dangerous than ever arthur fleck is just a nobody who works as a clown for a talent booking agency and has a social worker keeping a close eye on him which we did see in the trailer because of serious mental health issues. Yes, we kind of already figured all of this out so far. Um, those include an uncomfortable habit of laughing when he's nervous, something which doesn't help with his desire to become a stand-up comic. And I have seen people that have that as, an, as a nervous twitch, so I get it, but not to the extent they're showing it, like when they show the subway scene. He's kind of uncontrollably laughing, so add that nervous twitch to um, instability within his mental facilities. Yeah, we're going to get a unhinged Joker. Um, he is also the caretaker for his mother, a former housekeeper for the Wayne family. And I know there had been rumors that there was going to be some sort of connection, but this absolutely makes sense. Um, I kind of poked at the fact that he was bathing his mother he is obviously so unstable that he needs a social worker. He should not be the caretaker for his mother. It was just a little off, but you know, so is this whole damn movie. So I'm curious to see um, Thomas Wayne's mission. As expected, Thomas Wayne is running to become the mayor of Gotham City. I think everybody saw that coming um, and promises to clean up this city, both liter literally and figuratively. He's a good man but has been ignoring his former employee, hence Arthur's mother. And Fleck's mother has spent months trying to get in contact with him to no avail. She is deranged as her, she is as deranged as her son though. So it's hardly a surprise he's not responding to her correspondence. Um, so this is kind of where we're, I'm guessing where we see that scene when we see him go up to little Bruce and he is right at the manor we are getting that connection between the two, but it will go even a little further than that. We see Arthur's downfall. Fleck end up losing his job, and that appears to be the final nail in the coffin for his fractured psyche. After being mocked on the subway, he violently kills three Wall Street guys who are also harassing a young woman with these murders that goes the resist movement against Gotham wealthy elite. And like I said, we do see that part in the trailer. A lot of this isn't new. It's just kind of connecting the dots. With Thomas Wayne viewed as the voice of the rich, the poor start turning on him. While this is happening, Arthur tries to hand his hand at stand-up comedy during the open mic night at a local comedy club. He's set completely bombs. I called this. The footage of his performance ends up being sent to live with Murray Franklin, the TV show host played by Robert De Niro, wastes no time in ridiculing him. I called this like I figured that was part of his kind of downfalling. He finally gets his big break. He finally gets that one shot. He does absolutely horrible and is ridiculed across the city. I seen this coming. Um, I think Robert De Niro is honestly going to play a bigger role in his undoing. And not only that, um, he's going to play a bigger role than what we actually originally thought. Um, it says, um, the big reveal. <laughs> the cops are investigating Arthur for his involvement in the murders, which I talked about just a second ago. And he's busy 
reading one of the deranged mother's letters to Thomas Wayne and stumbles across a pretty major revelation. He claims that Arthur is the illegitimate son of Thomas Wayne, and that makes Joker the half-brother to Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, a twist which had been rumored since last year. And that's exactly what I thought, but in, yeah, it goes further. Because it says, or not, Arthur later learns that while his mother was obsessed with Thomas, they never actually slept together, and he is not his son after all. So we're getting a back and forth here. I don't know, like... It would make total sense for him to actually, you know, have this um, kind of crazy going through his head and it would make sense for why he is just all of this adding to his misery, adding to why he finally loses it. And it says, you know, he is aware that her boyfriend was sexually abusing Arthur when he was a young child. So he heads to Arkham and yeah, he kills his mom after taking care of her. After putting up with everything, he's just like, yeah, I'm going to head to Arkham. I'm going to kill my mom. Like, what? I don't know. Like, this is kind of the one where I was like, I'm not quite sure how true these spoilers are. Um, though it does honestly seem legit. This one kind of just kind of um, puts the nail in the coffin for maybe this one is BS. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It could very well be true, but we'll see. And it says, at this point, he is invited up onto live with Murray Franklin and fully embraces his new persona as the Joker. While all of this is happening, he murders several people who have wronged him. Zazie Beetz's character is not amongst them, despite the fact that his feelings for her were extremely one-sided. And the past leaks have claimed that he kills her, um, but that's being rejected right now. I do not, I don't think that, I did also think that those were kind of one-sided we kind of got that from the trailer but as far as him killing her i don't think that that's going to happen i know a lot of these were reshoots so they would be on set so whatever the original script was they would kind of do a lot of improv i know like 80 percent of this movie was on improv so Whatever it was, it's going to have twisted and turned so much we are not going to know what to expect. But um, I don't see that um, once, even if it was a one-sided stalkerish relationship, kind of seems like she's going to be the one to get his empathy and get him to calm down. I could be wrong with that and that has nothing to do with the spoilers. That is just what I personally think. But even so, this is kind of where I thought it definitely could be true. It says the Joker appears on the talk show but shoots Franklin in the head on air and proceeds to deliver a speech that riles up Gotham City and encourage him to rile, uh, rise up against the wealthy, which is so a Joker move. Like, that feels Joker to me. That feels like this could actually be true, but then to take it a step further and connect it with Batman, we see a riot break out. And this is during the time that Thomas and Martha um, end up being gunned down. So it connects Batman, it connects Joker, it connects everybody together, and it feels like this could actually make sense. Like all of this, honestly, it would be a good plot. And for as critical as I was of this movie, this makes me interested, says the police chase down Arthur and finally catch and arrest him where he is hit by a passing taxi. And we actually have a shot of that. So um, the movie then ends up with him in Arkham and he's out of his mind dancing around the cell. Um, it talks about Frank Sinatra's That's Life and Benny and the Jets. So that is where we are looking at with these plot leaks. And honestly, a lot of these do make sense. A lot of it feel... Like, it would be something I'd actually be interested in seeing because it is Joker, yes, I get that. But it's definitely an Elseworlds Joker where we still see small things from his origin story um, with, you know, the comedic. We don't see, like, you know, the Red Hood origin story, but we still get a small amount instead of his wife, it's his mother. We still get a snuff enough within the story that I want to see it. And I, like I said, I was extremely critical with the first real trailer because I was like, this looks stupid. Like, I have no interest whatsoever. And now I do. So thank you for those plot leaks. Let me know what you guys think or if you think they're even real. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.